Hi. Is Eva home? It's you. How are you, Eva? I'm fine too, thanks. Mm, do you like to go for a bicycle ride sometimes? Yes! Ah, oh, okay, okay. So we can do it next Friday. <laughs> Doing it again. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, Lukas Liebig? Yeah, I, I meant it would be like sort of a date, yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, okay. No, 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 it's fine, it's fine. I, I'll get over it, yeah. No, it's fine. Thanks. I'm a Toastmaster. Fellow Toastmasters, <laughs> dear guests, I'd like to set the expectations right at this moment. If you're expecting from the title of my story, it's going to be romantic or exciting or something about my successes with women, you're totally off, right? So about how I was trying hard to get a first date and a story full of horror, stress and disappointment. <laughs> so this is what I'm going to tell you today. Well. The story took place in 1999, in the great year when Spice Girls were still famous, when <laughs> Egan Jerry Hallowell left them, when everybody was shopping for lots of food and stuck it at home because everybody was afraid that in the year end the world is going to collapse because the Y2K or the Millennium Bug, the all computers were supposed to crash. <coughs> but at that time I was 15 and it seemed to me that all my peers are starting a family, or at least on the right way to do it, while I, at the end of the time, I didn't have, didn't have even a single date with a girl. At that moment, I was sure I need to do something about it. So, because I didn't know Daniel then, I turned to the second next person, which was, which was my grandmother. So, <laughs> so, I came to my grandmother and told her about promise she and she said, it's a difficult situation. Well, at my age, at well, my time, we were always meeting the boys at the tea after the dancing class. But I don't know whether this is relevant today. But wait, I've seen a movie recently. It's called You've Got Email with Tom Hanks and McRyan. Yes! I realized the internet, the ultimate source of all information, this is where you go when you need to find your love and maybe build rapport. With her. Uh, well, so, uh, but I didn't have internet at home at the time, 1999. But there was a internet cafe down in Václavské náměstí in Bonton and Megastore, so I went there and decided to spend some time there. I was terrified that some of my friends will see me there because immediately they will see when I'm at the internet that I'm like trying to hunt some girls. Of course, it's obvious what else to do there. And, but, <laughs> but I really, I really tried. But I really was pushing for it. And second, I also know it's pretty dangerous. It's not just girls on the internet, it's also like these freaks, these guys who pretend to be girls. No Facebook, guys. I mean, nobody had pictures online at that time. It was just pink phone was girl, blue phone was boy. So, but I, I really was willing to do it. So I was started, I wrote the first line on chat. Hi, I'm Lucas. Would you like to chat? And actually, at the time, mm, you know, it took 30 seconds before what you will appear on the screen, so I waited. Exciting, yeah, two minutes, nothing. Well, long story short, after two hours, I managed to get in contact with, with a woman. Actually, it was a 15 year old girl, and actually, she was beautiful, at least by what she wrote. <laughs> she wrote, she's like 1 meter 70, and uh, she was a girl, and she was 15, so this is all I wanted from her <laughs> at, at the time. So I said, oh, great, so um, would you like to go for a bicycle ride with me sometimes? And she goes, mm, no. <laughs> but, but, after the next 30 seconds, after the next refresh of the screen, she wrote, but we can go for a walk. You know, I mean, it was like five hours since I entered there, and it was 600 crowns, but it was well spent. <laughs> Internet was not cheap at those times. Um, so I, I was leaving this Bontal and Mega store, and I had, my heart was feeling so warm. Our date was supposed to be the next day, tomorrow, 7 in the evening. I was on the tram, going to Angel Station, and my heart was beating. I thought that I am going to faint, but I didn't. When I almost fainted was at stop Uzvon, it's two stops before Angel. Some totally retarded, crazy guy with his old Škoda 120 that his nose too much in front, so the tram hit him and it got stuck on the rails. Nobody was hurt. 
but my, my date was in danger, huh? I mean, because the driving tool is going to take 30 minutes before it, they will repair it. So it was me. Station was one between me and Anja, the most dangerous area of Prague. But on the other side, it was the woman of my dreams. Man, so I just, okay, this decision needs to be taken quickly. I jumped out, ran. 30 kilometers per hour, went all the way to Andiel, went to the stop, arrived there, and there she was. I was sweating, <laughs> breathing heavily, but there she was, tall, 1 meter 70, beautiful, blue eyes, like a painting. I came to her, I say, hi, are you Eliška? She said, no. <laughs> <laughs> Page over internet suck, I tell you. Um, yeah, so, okay, so I got the wrong girl, so I walked around and uh, went to some like five or six other girls, but none of them was. Eliška. So uh, it was kind of difficult. Mm. Yeah, so I mean, after, after the time I decided, okay, maybe it's, I should better go home. So I went home and you can imagine, you can imagine, you can imagine the depression I felt. <laughs> Such a misery. But then, it's nine o'clock. Phone rang. Hi, why didn't you come? I said, girl's voice. Why didn't you come? I was there at Angel Station. Yes, so was I. I was Angel Station, train number 9, direction city center. Ah, I was direction Sepe. Yeah, she was. We were there, she was there. And if you're expecting a happy end, yes, you are right. The next day, we are a bit more specific <laughs> on the meeting. I recommend you whenever you wish to date somebody over the internet by not showing the, their picture, be more specific. Yeah, this is one takeaway what you can get from this story, there is no other. Uh, <laughs> we met and we spent a great time, it was so beautiful, and we were dating together forever after until the next week when she found out I don't like Spice Girls. But I don't <laughs>